Hello and welcome everyone. It's Meredith. I am here with our daily reading for the 24th of October 2018. Happy full moon everyone. Where I am it goes full at 12:45 p.m. <laughs> so, anyway, happy full moon. Enjoy that. Um we are using the Universal Weight Tarot deck today. Let's get started. Our card on the bottom of the deck is the Chariot. Chariot's been hanging around lately. This is um, will and determination moving forward. This is us having a desire to move something forward, my feeling is. Um, And without turning these over, I'm feeling like <laughs> there's a bit of a uh, challenge on this card today. Let's see what goes with it. The moon, well, that's appropriate. Uh, however, I do feel, okay, two major arcana cards here. The moon is um, showing up in our reading to let us know there are things we don't know, things we don't understand about what it is we're wanting to move forward. Um, I feel as though there is a, a delay hmm. being purposely paused. Because we need to listen to our intuition. Yeah. Well, and the moon's all about intuition. <clears throat> Something appears false here. That's the feeling I have. Um, we've been given information. We've received information. But it's not ringing true for us. And so our desire to move forward... Um, with our will, with our determination, in a successful way. I feel like the divine <laughs> knows better, and we've got roadblocks on purpose. Roadblocks and potholes. <laughs> because we need to move forward fully informed, and we're not fully informed. So this is, the moon would have us paying attention to our dreams. So definitely be jotting down um, the information that's coming out of your dreams right now. Examine that. Um, something important is surfacing on this card. We just don't, it just hasn't surfaced yet. And until it does, our movement forward is, is paused, delayed. And this is to our benefit, ultimately. It may not feel like that right now, but it is to our benefit. Let's see what's next. Another major arcana card, Temperance. Hmm. Good old Temperance. That's the card that would have me saying patience, but I'm going to say allowing. <laughs> yes, let's allow Let's get into harmony with the divine energy that is always looking out for our highest and greatest good, for the best possible outcome, and the ability to reach our finest potential. I feel that temperance is here letting us know that we can, we can slow down. We've had the Four of Swords for a good number of days, and... Um, with good reason. We need to take a break, time out, rest, relax. My my guides would say we are requiring the space to be in solitude. Um, it feels as though we are filtering energy right now, which is contributing to what it is we don't currently know that is going to surface, that will inform us. But this this desire on the chariot to go, you know, racing down the track, full throttle, this has to be scaled back right now. And not for any negative reason, truly it's for a positive reason. So hindsight is going to be crystal clear, folks. 
And temperance is about moderation. It's also a reconciliation card, a healing reconciliation card. So in this um, solitude that we might be experiencing on this day, um, consider that uh, a healing for you. This is the divine stepping in, the your guides, your angels, the all that is, that you believe in, is looking out for you. Archangel Michael governs this card as well. So if you are feeling as though you need divine intervention of any kind, call on Archangel Michael. <laughs> One of my favorite psychics on YouTube uh, is it's Gemstone Tarot. You should check her out. She's amazing. But... <laughs> She has a little saying, it's uh, chuck it up to Mike. So if you need help, chuck it up to Mike. I love that. I love it when she says that, and it feels appropriate here. So definitely reach out to Archangel Michael. Spiritual help and guidance is on offer to us in this card, and I just keep being drawn back to the moon. There's, there's just stuff we don't know with clarity, and that clarity is coming. And how often do we all desire to slow down, uh, to take a time out? We often allow the circumstances in our lives to, to dictate our availability for everything. And right now the circumstances are dictating that, you know, we slow our roll here. So take advantage of that and enjoy it. Let's see what's next. Ten of Cups. Look at this, because there's something amazing right around the corner. Okay, I'm feeling like one of those Hallmark movie scenes where, you know, girl meets boy. <laughs> they start to like each other. Then for reasons neither of them share with the other, they're deliberately apart from each other. You know, one's visiting a, a town for a short time and leaving, and, you know, then they chase after each other. One of them chases after the other at a train station or the airport, and they reconnect, and then they have their ten of cups. <laughs> this is kind of what I feel. I know that's silly, but it's kind of what I feel here. And it can work in any scenario, whether it's a project, a friendship, a family relationship, a beloved relationship, um... Something you're manifesting all of a sudden just feels way out of reach and almost impossible. And just as you're sitting there with your head in your hands, crying and feeling a sense of defeat, you know, the clouds break, the sun shines, the rainbow appears and ten cups fall and there's your dream come true. It's one of those moments. It's one of those days I'm feeling here. Roll with it, people. Roll with it. Nine of Swords in reverse. You all know I don't do reversals very often. So when they come out, I pay really close attention to them. Now, we had the Nine the other day. Uh, the reversed meaning, though, it's not any better. It's not like, oh, my my really horrifying night crying is, is over and over for good and yay, it's all better. <laughs> Not the case. Uh, it, the Nine of Swords in reverse is sort of um, an escalation of those feelings that had you crying and awake in the middle of the night. The, the good part about it is that this is us reaching the absolute rock bottom lowest point of this particular cycle that we're in. Uh, I know a lot of you are feeling this this Venus retrograde more profoundly perhaps than any other and I spoke to someone yesterday who is also um, she's an amazing psychic very very gifted and uh, during our conversation she reminded me to do a bit of a review on the previous um, Venus retrograde so look that up find out when that was and Take a look at some of the stuff that you were sorting in your world at that time. And also take a look at the last Mercury retrograde and do the same. And my feeling here is that these cards are connecting to those cycles. So do a bit of review on the prior retrogrades. Sort of compare them to the now. And recognize that you're absolutely at the 
absolute lowest point of that cycle, meaning it can only improve from here. In my senses, it will. These are great cards. These are all very positive cards. It's just that the the climate of of energy right now is it's thick and it's challenging and it is encouraging us deeper into our process because going forward we don't want to bring any of this BS with us. We'd like to put this to rest for good. So we're we're at a stage of personal spiritual development where we can do that. It just feels really uncomfortable. Is there anything else I want to say about that nine? It's turning, it's turning an energy of perceived powerlessness around. And we'll be coming into more allowing and expanded compassion for our own selves. And it is a reminder to reach out to our guides and angels. We don't have to do this alone. We can turn to the people we know, love, and trust who really want to see us achieve our dreams Talk to them. Reach out to them. This is a reminder for all of you to call your strong friend. If you haven't heard from him or her, um, maybe make that call or text yourself. Send a nice message. Let them know that they are thought of, loved, and cared for. It may be the brightest thing in their day, and they need to hear that right now. Okay, let's see what's next. Eight of Wands, also in reverse. Wow, two reversals in this reading today. Can you even remember the last time you saw reversals in my readings? So talk about delay. That's that's the Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, I don't really think I need to go into that one because it's repeating what we've already talked about here. Let me tune into my guides. Yeah, my guides are recommending <laughs> that silence is golden right now. <laughs> so, yeah, send the text to your strong friend. Um, maybe leave them a, a really wonderful voicemail. Somehow let them know that they're being thought of. Um, the, but the silence is golden because you don't want to be drawn into any kind of a petty argument or discussion. And when we feel at a low point or frustrated or um, as if we have a blindfold on and we cannot see because that's the feeling I have on the moon there when we cannot see oftentimes we get frustrated and we do uh, we do regress a bit into old ways of being feeling and acting and then acting out so yeah Let's, let's just have some solitude and be grateful for it. <laughs> and then we have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Here again, I'm feeling, um, you know, the swords are their intellect, their uh, wisdom, and we've got a page. Pages are inexperienced. And they're poised for action, so we've got poised for action here. We've got the chariot. We want to take action. Some of us are just chomping at the bit. We are raring to go, but this is not the moment. This is not it. Um, these are unsettled. The space is unsettled. Um, Keep your eye on your goal, which is the ten right there. It's the ten of cups. Be in the flow of allowing with the universal forces. And then allow yourself to be informed. The nine of swords in this position we know is extreme. So this is asking us to take extreme self-care, extreme compassion, an extreme kindness to recognize when your inner dialogue 
goes bad. <laughs> Pay attention to that and then take the take the positive steps forward. This page, the moon in the chariot, really does let us know that the now moment is for your solitude. It's not a punishment. You're not being held back. Uh, there may be a sense of delay. There may even be a frustrating sense of waiting, but it's for, it's for our benefit. So let's really take the message seriously. One thing that you can do that will feel like movement forward is reconnect to the seeds of desire that you have out there in the universe. Nurture and love them, okay? Bring the highest and greatest energy to everything you do, which is the energy of love. Uh, it's the most powerful force in our universe. Love really does um, trump everything else. So bring love to the now moment. Have, be in allowing, dare I say it, even patience. Have patience. Call on Archangel Michael. Call on your other guides, angels, ancestors. Light a candle for yourself today. Light a candle for your seeds of desire that you have out there. Um, participate in a way that is not necessarily physical movement forward. Um, because that feels like forcing forcing energy and, and that almost almost never works out well <laughs> okay so keep your eye on your ten of cups understand that you don't have all the information that the universe is filling in the grid within your vortex and will know the moment when it's right to step forward again so be at ease and at peace today be good to yourselves. All right, let's move on to our angel answer cards. This is your opportunity to ask a question. First card. Ooh. Oh, this is great. Now this just fell out of the deck. Get more information. I'm going to change this a bit and say, allow more information to come to you. I'm putting that with the chariot. Here's the next one. Wow, folks. Ask your angels. I'm putting that with temperance. I don't need to repeat myself. You got the message. Next card. Okay. <laughs> this is going with the Ten of Cups. Big happy changes. Things that you don't even expect right now. Oftentimes, uh, in my own hindsight and in the experiences that people share with me, I hear how, and I witness for my own self how, things unfold in a better way than we even prayed for. It's happened to me so many times. And I've heard it from so many people in readings that the very thing that they were dreaming for, praying for, came to pass. And it was, it, it just far exceeded their original intention. This is one of those moments. This is one of those days. There is something unfolding for us. And it's okay for us not to know what that is because it is a big happy change. It's going to far exceed our original intention. And if we stay in the flow and we stay in allowing, if we have temperance, if we can stay in kindness and compassion, then this pause, this perceived delay, will be less, um, there will be less discomfort there. And then the surprise and the delight on the other side is just going to wow us. So let's do that. Next card is going to be our... Um, Notes from the Universe deck. <clears throat> okay. Gosh, I feel like we had this one recently. Or maybe I pulled it for myself. <laughs> Not sure. Okay. Uh, if they once loved you, they still do. Mm, some of you are waiting to hear from a beloved. 
Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love, whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back. It changed everything. Yes, because love is the most powerful force in the universe. Actually, you're always loved back. You changer. <laughs> That's sweet. Hang in there, folks. Whatever this phase is, it's not comfortable. Um, but let's be okay with that. Let's just be as good as we can with that and trust the flow, trust the process, trust the divine. It really does want the best for us. It's got our back. All right, I'm going to do one more card, and it's these little um, empowering question cards. I like these. So this is a good question we can ask ourselves while we are relaxing and being kind and compassionate to ourselves. Um, ooh, here's a good one. Where am I going and why? Yeah, where are you going? Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Delayed. Chariot. <laughs> yeah, where are you going and why are you going there? Leave some comments, folks. Fill us in. Share it on the channel. Everybody loves to read these um, these comments that you leave. They are inspiring, not only to me, but to the other people who check them out. So do feel free to share. Have a beautiful Wednesday. My peace, love, joy, and blessings to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below, folks. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye for now.